Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Worship 365, but this is the day the Lord has made, and I am rejoicing, and I am glad in it. It's day 291, and I felt led to go live this morning. So I'm going to worship just a little bit for a minute. Just worship with me, invite, share. And just worship the Lord with me in spirit and truth. You are my strength by William Murphy. Yes. Subject title is strengthened. Yes, Lord. In the fullness of your in the power of your name. You lift me up. <laughs> yes, Lord. I'm coming up now. <laughs> Yes, Lord, thank you. In the fullness of your and in the power of your name, you lift me up. I'm coming up now. Yes, Lord. In the fullness of your and in the power of your name, you lift me up. <laughs> I'm coming up now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We bless your name in this place. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. There's no Oh, we bless your name. Oh, we bless your name. Oh, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for strength this morning, God. The strength that you give like no other, God. I heard in my spirit this morning that there are many, including myself, <laughs> that there are many people that are fighting battles in their home. The enemy has waged an all-out assault against you in your home. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord say this morning that He is your strength. That His strength is made perfect in your weakness. To cling to Him for dear life. To seek Him with your whole heart. He said, I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We 
Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your strength. We thank you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your strength. We thank you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your strength. Oh, Lord. One of the things that I've learned in the last several months of uh, transition that I've been in and just just a lot of um, situations and circumstances that I've been navigating through is you can't get through tests and trials in your own strength and I think the proclivity that we have is to handle things on our own and to run you know with endurance Right? To walk and not faint, to run and not grow weary. But the truth of the matter is, you do get weary. That some days are very difficult to run and walk. And the Word of God is true. And so, what I found is that circumstances have the ability to wear you down to the point where you're not strong enough to fight. And I've experienced that on a number of occasions over the last several months where things have just gotten so rough, so rocky, so frustrating um, that it's almost like I want to say that, you know, you just kind of like throw in the surrender tile. Like, you know, I don't even have the strength to fight. And I think at that point, when you throw in the surrender towel and you say, I don't have enough strength to fight, that's the moment when God steps in and says, okay, great, now let me pick you up and let me carry you and give you the strength that you need. And in the midst of me carrying you and strengthening you during this time, I'm going to fight your battles. I'm going to go before you. You can rest in me, right? And while you're resting in the palm of his hands, while he's carrying you through your battles, while he's navigating you through situations and circumstances, sometimes all you have to do is just say, Lord, if I can just hear your voice, I can get through the day. I might not have the strength I need to fight, but if I can just hear your voice, I can get through the day. And there may be little glimmers throughout the day where you'll hear the Holy Spirit leading you to do one or two things and that's it. Because that's the capacity that you have in that moment. But all along, he's carrying you. You're still in the battle. You're still fighting. But he's carrying you and he's fighting for you. The situations and circumstances may not change. But he's fighting on your behalf. All while he's carrying you. All while he's strengthening you. All while he's saying, I got this and I got you. And so what I found... Is during the last three months, really four months, it's been four months, July, August, September, October, yeah, it's been four months. Over the last four months, I found that I've just been being carried. I let go of my need to fight. I let go of my need to be strong and keep going in spite of and all of that and just rest it in, in God and that didn't mean that I didn't have to do anything that meant I had to trust him that meant I had to rest and be okay with how things were unfolding and trust him enough to know that he will never leave me nor forsake me and that this is a part of his plan this is 
This is how champions are made. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is how champions are made. They're made in battle. They're made when they realize that it's not their strength, but it's the strength of the Lord. They're made when they realize that if God doesn't go before me and perfect those things that concern me, it won't happen. And, and being okay with resting in that, resting in that truth, resting in those promises, because he is faithful. He is faithful to perform his word. He is faithful. He is faithful. And so I wanted to jump on this morning and just share my heart this morning as I am still in the middle of it all. <laughs> um, but I am being strengthened every day. Strengthened to stand. Strengthen to stand. I remember I was dealing with a challenge um, about three years ago with my business and I had done all that I knew to do and I prayed about it and even fasted about it and talked to my grandmother and I was like I just don't know what to do it might have been four years ago and I said I just don't know what to do I've done everything I know to do and I know that this is God's will but I just don't know what to do and she said sometimes all you have to do is stand just stand you don't have to do anything. And when your legs get tired, ask God to give you strength to help you to stand in the midst of it all because this is how champions are made. Glory to God. <laughs> and so I just want to encourage you this morning that no matter what you're dealing with, in your home, in your family. The one thing that has kept me in my right mind, moving forward in spite of, is my ability to tap into worship, is my ability to tap into his presence and the days that I chose not to worship, the days that I chose to try to just say, forget it, I can't do this, those are the days I felt the most defeated. Those are the days that I wanted to give up. But the days that I chose to worship. The days that I just said, Lord, I need you. I need you. Those are the days that I felt his presence. I felt his strength. And I got what I need to move forward throughout that day. It's a daily thing. It's a daily commitment. It's a daily renewal, daily repentance, daily seeking, daily crying out. And some days you might not want to. Some days you might be in your feelings. Some days you may be angry, angry at God for even allowing this. But I encourage you, I encourage you that he is faithful, he is faithful, and he will give you the strength that you need to stand in the midst of it all. And so Father, I just thank you for my brothers and my sisters that will watch this broadcast. I thank you, Father, for supernatural strength. The strength that only you give. The strength that only you give. I thank you 
that as they draw near to you in worship, in spirit and in truth, that they will be strengthened for the journey ahead. Father, there are many battles that we're called to fight as warriors, as ambassadors for your kingdom. And some of them can be very difficult, especially those that are personal. But I thank you that you strengthened us to stand, to keep moving forward, to love in spite of, to rest in you when we're weary. I thank you for your word. I thank you that your word is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. I thank you that during good seasons of our lives, when everything is going well, that we will hide your word in our hearts so that when the winds and the waves and the test and the trials come, because they will come, when they come, that we will be strengthened and that we will find our strength in you, not in ourselves, that we will find our strength in your word we thank you for the weapons of our warfare. We thank you that they are mighty through you to the pulling down of every stronghold. We thank you for moving mountains and performing miracles. We thank you for opening doors. We thank you for closing doors that are not meant for us to walk through that, will, that, that could potentially make our journey even more difficult so we thank you for discernment to know the difference we thank you we thank you for being for the strength that we need to continue to move forward in everything that you've called us to do even the difficult things thank you father last thing that i just heard when i was praying is that accepting God's will for your life may not be easy. Walking with God may not be easy. There is an all out assault against your life when you make a decision to follow Christ. When you make a decision to stand as an ambassador, encouraging, inspiring, empowering, ministering to others, there is a personal all-out assault that comes against you. And if you don't learn to worship, if you don't learn to pray and stand flat-footed and tell the devil who you are, you will never win. It is a principle that is not often taught, but it is so, 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 so important that we understand who we are in Christ, that we understand the authority that we have in Christ, that we understand that the word of God truly is our sword. It is our weapon. And when we make a decision to not cling to this word, when we make a decision to not seek God concerning a matter. When we make a decision to do things our own way, we are subjecting ourselves to battles that we will never win because we have to make a decision to fight the battle the way God has given us, the tool with, with the tools that God has given us. We fight our battles on our knees. We fight our battles in worship. We fight our battles on our knees. We fight our battles in worship. And so I encourage you today to draw near to the Father in spirit and in truth that you may be strengthened for the journey ahead. I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray God's blessing over your life and over the lives of your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day, and I hope to see you again really soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.